All right, docs, your computer wants to retire, but you don't know what to do. Do I go get another giant big box like this? No, let me show you what to do. If it's not like a gaming PC or you don't need the optical drive on it, like the CD-ROM, get one of these, little itty bitty computer. These are mini PCs and a lot of times they even mount behind your monitor. Uh, I was at a board meeting last night and the docs there are like, what do we do? Do I go pay thousands and thousands of dollars? Like, no, you can you know, outfit your whole office for really inexpensively by replacing it with one of these. Now, one thing to understand about these is it's a full computer. This is an entire computer right here. Um, it has two plugs for plugging in, uh, well, it depends on the model you get, but plugging in your monitors, your USB ports, your internet, and it's got more USB out of your headphones. So it's all in this little box, and this can replace what this giant thing used to do. This is archaic. The only thing you need to keep this for is that, like, you have one of these in your office just to have the optical drive in case you get a CD-ROM with have a, you know, a, a MRI report or something you need to read. But most of that's online these days. Uh, it's kind of like having this view box. Why do I have this? Just in case someone brings up an x-ray, this film hasn't happened in 10 years, but I still have it, just in case. So here's the deal. You replace it with one of these. Now, here's something to understand about this. If you still have an old monitor that has a plug like this, a DVI, or a blue one, a white one, you're going to need a special cable that plugs into DVI. Now, I'll, I'll link these in my description below, but uh, basically this converts this plug into your old monitor style. So you'll need a little mini computer, you might need a monitor cable to match that. Uh, if you have any questions, leave, leave a comment below. I'll make another video for you if you need to. I'd like to help support you guys. I'm a tech advocate. I mean, I've, I've been, you know, not only take care of babies, but I love computers and technology. So if your retired old PC says Windows uh, 7 on it on the top, it's gotta go. And you have to upgrade to something newer to be HIPAA compliant. Okay, so there's one more thing I wanted to mention. Don't throw away that old PC. It's been good to you. So first thing you have to do is you have to pull the hard drive out and then take that to recycling center. Now, if you're gonna recycle that hard drive, you have to go through a approved um, recycling center that's gonna use certificate of destruction, um, but otherwise you have to scrub it and hammer it and burn it in fire uh, to kill you the hard drive, but don't throw it in the trash can. You might have data on there that you need to protect. So if you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching.